in this note, we're going to talk about the voltages that define different MOS regions of operation. So, for a PMOS device, for an NMOS device, we'll start with an NMOS device. We have the cutoff region that is defined as the gate to source voltage being less than the threshold voltage for the device. If the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold device, we're operating in cutoff. For gate to source voltage greater than the threshold voltage, we have to check to see if the gate to source voltage minus the threshold, if the drain to source voltage is greater than the gate to source voltage minus the threshold. So, if V drain to source is greater than V gate to source minus a threshold voltage, the device is in saturation. If V drain to source is less than the gate to source minus a threshold voltage, the device is in the triode or linear region. Now one thing that we can do is note that VDS minus VGS must be greater than minus VT, or if we multiply everything through by a negative, then we could write that VGS minus VDS is must be less than VT because the source is common to both VGS and VDS we could also just write VGD must be less than a threshold voltage if this is the case then we're in saturation Otherwise, we're in triode slash linear. When dealing with a PMOS device, the easiest thing to do is just reverse the voltages on all of these devices. So for instance, we could write that the cut for cutoff, VSG is less than absolute value of VT for a PMOS device. If VSG is greater than VT for a PMOS device, then we need to check the drain to source condition. So we could write VSD must be greater than VSG minus the absolute value of the threshold voltage. In this case, we're in saturation. If VSD is less than VSG minus the absolute value of the threshold voltage, then the device is in the triode or linear region. One other note, we mentioned that the channel capacitance is equal to C ox times the width of the device times the length. We wanted to be clear what we meant by width and length. So the length is the length between the drain source terminal separated by the gate of the transistor. So this dimension is the length. The width is, imagine if we sketch this device into three dimensions. The width is that 
third dimension. Now we also noted that C ox is equal to E ox divided by T ox, and this is the capacitance per unit area for a device. T ox is the thickness of the oxide. And EOX is equal to the permeability of free space times the relative permittivity of the material, in this case silicon dioxide. And our relative permittivity, or our permittivity of free space is equal to 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 farads per meter. And the relative permittivity of silicon dioxide is approximately equal to 4. So with all of those equations you should now be able to solve for any MOS device bias region and small signal model.